Cardiogenic shock is inadequate perfusion originating from failure of the heart to pump blood effectively. The cardiac output produced by the heart is equal to the stroke volume times the heart rate. A low heart rate may be a cause of decreased cardiac output or a contributing factor if a compensatory tachycardia is blunted. Chronotropic agents may be useful if there's a reversible cause for the bradycardia. These include isoproteranol, dobutamine, milrinone, epinephrine, glucagon, calcium, or dopamine. These agents would not be expected to work, however, in the case of an irreversible cause, like infarction of the conducting system. The preferred agent depends on whether there is alternate pathology present, like ischemia, hyperkalemia, or a nodal blocking toxin. Isoproteranol is likely the most effective agent from the standpoint of purely increasing the heart rate. While increasing heart rate may improve cardiac output, increasing stroke volume may also be beneficial. A low stroke volume may also be the result of a variety of different conditions, including ischemia, cardiomyopathy, hypocalcemia, or the presence of a toxin. Mechanical considerations like hypovolemia or obstruction may also decrease the stroke volume. The options for inotropic medicines for improving stroke volume are essentially the same as for increasing heart rate. Dobutamine is likely the first agent for inotropy for most providers. For patients with high blood pressure, pulmonary hypertension, or those taking beta blockers or beta agonists, milrinone may be a more effective agent. For patients with a low blood pressure, an agent with combined inopressor effects, like epinephrine, may be preferred. Low cardiac output as a result of hypocalcemia, adrenal insufficiency, hypovolemia, obstruction, or toxic ingestion should obviously have the underlying cause addressed in addition to the consideration of inotropes. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.